Hello everyone, Sylvia here with Silver Pine Kiko Goats. Today I'm going up to feed Cookie. So Cookie's been on a bottle for about three weeks now and right now I'm at three times a day feeding for her. So bring one up to her right now. Um, she's probably hungry. It looks like my siblings are playing with her right now. But today I thought I'd give you an update on kind of what's going on. So here's the report. So the other day I actually brought Cookie to school with me. Um, so I'm actually homeschooled in the mornings and then I just take two classes at the high school for public school in the afternoons. So I had the awesome opportunity to be able to bring Cookie to school with me and they loved it a lot. So Cookie was a big hit and I'll share some footage with you right here. Hey guys, so this morning I am bringing Miss Cookie to school today, actually. So I'm homeschooled in the mornings, but I actually take a couple classes at the high school. So, um, Miss Cookie here is coming with me upon request. Everyone wanted to see her and I got permission from the school to bring her, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'll try to get a little bit of footage when we get there and when I'm getting her ready to go and everything, but she's gonna have a great time and I think everybody's gonna love her. She's being hilarious, trying to climb me like a mountain right now. She just got her bottle. Also, I put a little dog collar on her, so I'll be able to attach a leash also. And she's just the sweetest, craziest, friendliest, cutest little baby goat I've ever seen. So this is gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be an adventure and yeah. Anyways, hopefully I'll be able to share that with you guys soon. Cookie is experiencing the joys of being back in the house. Aren't you? You're like a little puppy. Yes, you are, you silly girl. Chewy, what do you think? She's gonna follow me everywhere. You're so cute. Yes, you are, silly. <laughs> she's playing with Chewy. She really thinks she's a dog. <laughs> Come say hi, Cookie. She's like, I hate this color. <laughs> I know, she doesn't like it. Come here. Come say hi. Hi. She's so curious of everything. She loves people. So I'm in the car right now. Don't worry, I'm at a stoplight. But Cookie is in the box fast asleep right there. She is super worn out after um, spending time in class today. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of footage while Cookie was with me at school um, because I was trying to just let everyone interact with her and not get in the way with the camera too much. But I did get that little bit of video for you guys. So it's been a little bit since you've heard about the goats in the separate pasture. So I just visited them the other day. I've been visiting them about every other day. But I'll let you guys watch this video um, of when I was visiting the other three goats in pasture number three. So here's that right here. So I'm here for a quick update on these goaties. Hi girl, how's it going? They're doing really good. Um, I've got some hay here for them, so I'm just gonna bring it out to them in the pasture. All right, come on, goats. Where's Primrose? I hear her. How are you, girl? How's it going? You look so good. Yeah, you pretty girl. Look at all of this green pasture. Boy, are they lucky. And it's such a beautiful day outside. The weather is perfect. But I'll just come out here about every other day and uh, throw them a flake of hay. Um, just because the grass is it's still pretty short. It's getting longer though, but it is super nice pasture. Um, just really green and they've got a lot of clover and forage in there. So, But yeah, this is my 
routine every other day, I'll drive over here to pasture number three, which is our friend's pasture that I'm currently leasing, as many as you, as many of you know. Um, so yeah, I just have these three here right now. Um, espresso did get sold, as I mentioned in an earlier video. Espresso was my purebred Kiko buck to breed my does for this kidding season. So my next round of kidding season will actually be starting in about four weeks. Um, Divine will kick us off in the middle of February. And then close behind her will be Primrose right here, who is a first timer. I'm looking forward to see how she does for her first time. And then in early March, Miss Calliope, my registered Savannah doe right here will be kidding. But anyways, yeah, the girls are looking nice and fat. Um, so we've definitely probably got twins in her, which is good. I'm so excited to see what she has. She even has an udder coming in. It's hard to see under all that hair, but she's got a little itty bitty udder coming in, but it looks really good. And she has super good milking genetics. So I'm really hoping she'll bring some good udder genetics into my Kiko herd. Um, but Calliope's got a little udder coming in too. This will be her second time kidding because she did decide to get herself bred last year. She got out with the buck and um, ended up with a single buckling on accident. But um, this time she's bred purposefully and so this will be her second time. Hopefully she has twins. Um, I'm guessing she will. So we'll just see. Bracken, he's just my Nigerian dwarf weather. I bought him to be a companion for my buck and I ended up not really needing him. But he's, he's just a friendly little pet that keeps the girls company and hangs out in this pasture over here with them. So he doesn't really have a big purpose other than just being a sweet little pet and maybe eventually he'll be used as a companion for my buck but we'll see so he's always available if someone needs a companion but yeah meanwhile these guys are just gonna chow down but thought I'd give you an update on them here in this pasture and um, show you how these two girls are getting closer to kidding so the next kidding season is coming up soon. So I'm really looking forward to that and I'm hoping that it goes a lot more smoothly than this kidding season went. Um, but luckily things are going really well right now. Um, the baby goats aren't dying on me anymore and I've been solving problems that need to be solved. So that's good. I've been learning a lot along the way. Um, by the way, our weather has been super crazy lately. We had a super sunny day the other day, and right now the rain is coming down. So I'll get cookie fed here in just a minute. But so I am a little concerned about the two bucklings right now. Um, I've been trying to figure out what's going on. They're just not gaining as much weight as I'd like them to. And but the two dolings are doing really good, so I'm super happy to see that. Um, Cookie and her sister Clover, they are just thriving and doing super well. Clover has been completely hands off this entire time. Um, Sylvester, one of the bucklings, he's been almost completely hands off. Um, Cookie, she is my bottle baby. Her mom wouldn't take her back after I had to take her in the house and take care of her when she got sick. So she is stuck as a bottle baby for the most part, although I'm letting her nurse on her mom twice a day. So maybe eventually her mom will accept her, but in the meantime, she won't accept her, so Cookie is a bottle baby. And because I am concerned about the weights of the two bucklings who aren't gaining very well, um, especially the one, Serrano, um, so I've been giving them medications that will hopefully help. i um, been trying to figure out what's going on also with their mama's milk supply. For some reason, their mom isn't producing very much milk. So I've been trying to work with my goat mentor and other goat breeders that I've purchased from and that I'm friends with to um, figure out the problems and get them solved. 
So with raising goats, I've noticed that it involves a lot of problem solving. And so uh, I've been getting better at that as I will continue to raise goats. But yeah, so that's kind of the update with everything. I've actually moved the electric goat fence because the goats were eating the madrone trees around here, so I moved it. But um, here's Cookie coming straight her for, for her bottle. She knows exactly where to go. What a good girl. She's getting so much bigger. Can't believe how fast they grow. But so yeah, she and her sister Clover are doing really well. It's unfortunate that I did have to bottle feed her and it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work, but I'm really glad to see how good Cookie is doing and that um, me and those who I were working with were able to save her. So that is great news. And yeah, meanwhile, I have this new fenced area. Um, it goes back into the woods a lot, but the goats are out browsing in the trees right now. They kind of go all over. Um, the fence wraps around the fence, around their permanent pen. But yeah, it's also super muddy here right now because of all the rain we're getting. That is the status of things right now with raising goats. so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to go down and hit the like button if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video also ring the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put out new content see you guys later bye